Oh my fuck, I'm gonna fanboy so hard over this. I'm gonna fangasm. Add to my brother facts, let's hope they give you a great present, but no doubt. Yo, thank you, man. I'm gonna manifest part two here. Okay. <laughs> let's go. Let's fucking go. Oh my god, everything's solid, perfect. Thank you for letting me know, dude. Oh, they're showing ad they're showing everything. Advent Children, the movie, the original. Oh jeez. Dude, I have chills. Oh my god. What is this? Oh, is that uh is that the mobile game they released a long time ago? The thing with the Turks? Crisis Core, let's go! Yes! FF7 Crisis Core! The greatest PSP game ever. Oh yeah, my boy Zach. My boy Vincent Valentine. Dude, I'm fanboying so hard. I, dude, I want to say I'm sorry if, if you're cringing right now, but I'm not going to apologize for that shit. A proud FF7 fan, let's go. The 25th anniversary event. <laughs> dude. <laughs> I'm so ready for this. I'm so ready for this. My body is ready. Oh, fuck. You don't not get chills with the bombing run mission. Oh, wait, wait, what the fuck? Defy destiny together. Okay, this is just Intergrade and 7 Remake. This will be a memory to cherish for the rest of your lives. Yeah, you might be right. They might be doing a collection, Chief. Okay, so I played all this. Fucking amazing game, by the way. They killed the remake, man. They killed it. They absolutely wrecked with the remake. And integrate the expansion. Okay. Is it on more platforms or like what's going on? Oh, okay, cool. Avail I, I thought it was already on Steam. Oh no, they released it on Epic. Right. Final Fantasy okay, Nomura. Final Fantasy or no, that's sorry, that's not Nomura. Kitase, Kitase, my bad. And he's subtitles. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay. This is good. Thank you. Good shout, Chief. I appreciate you, man. Got the English subs. FF7 mobile games. Okay. I'm guessing the previous stuff wasn't that big, right? They're just releasing it on Steam and there's some accessories and shit. Oh, let's go. I, I just love the theme, man. I don't care if the announcements aren't sick. I just love being a part of this, you know? The Fucking motor crazy motorcycle chase theme. Let's go. This this shit always is my jam. They're gonna drop the banger announcement at the end for sure, dude. I hope so. Let's manifest it together, man. Let's get some energy in here for this shit. I'm so hyped. For this, I'm not so hyped. Dude, I will say I am like the biggest fan for everything ever released in the Final Fantasy VII universe. Like all the games, all the books and shit. This is the only thing I don't give a flying fuck about. <laughs> I think this is just Battle Royale, right? That one Battle Royale thing they released? The first soldier? Yeah, okay. Yeah, zero interest. <laughs> no offense to people who, who like this shit. All, all the power to you, man. It's not for me. I, I remember when everyone... Because they announced the title for this first, and they didn't announce what it was, and everyone was like, Oh my god, is that the title for... Okay, shh. Okay, cool. This I'm excited for. There's more news on this. Ever Crisis. There's a remaster of the original for, for mobile. I, I'm going to play the hell out of this one. This looks so fucking cute. This looks so cool. There's a great way to experience the original. If you like the original's mechanics. And you don't want a full-on remake. Oh, this looks good. Oh, shit. Dude, it's like one to one. Okay. 
And the turn-based shit is like a remake kind of thing. Let's go. Dude, I know. Crisis Core was my fucking everything. I actually played that before 7. Well, 7 was the very first game I ever played when I was like super young, but I never finished it. Then I went and played Crisis Core. And then I played 7 fully. So yeah, dude, if they remaster or remake Crisis Core, I will fucking cry. That's gonna be huge. Or just port it. Just port it. I will play it again. We, we streamed it once. Okay, this shit looks fire. Genesis, okay, there he is. Genesis is in here too. They can use him. There are some legal problems there, remember? <laughs> Crisis Core with the OG treatment. It looks so cool. Dude, it's all here. It's it's literally all here. They made it so well. Holy shit. This looks great. This looks fucking cool. Yep, the iconic fire scene with my boy Sefi. Wait, what? Who's that? Who that? What the fuck? Who was that short haired guy? Ever Crisis. All right, let's go. <laughs> Close beta test in 2022. Okay, yo, sign me the fuck. How do I sign up? Music. Alright, Kitsase. Okay, Kitsase. FF7 fan no minasama Oh my god. Okay. Okay. If you're excited, I'm excited, Katase. Dude, sign me the fuck up. Oh my god, fuck you. Boy, oh boy. The price of freedom is steep. Yo, this is this is a Oh my god, Crisis Core. But the new voice actor from Remake for Zack. Making progress, Zack. Oh my god. I can cut loose, right? Wait, what? It looks okay. Is this a remake, though? The graphics are kind of eh. But it's Crisis Core. Genesis. A month ago, he went missing during a mission in Wutai. You know, I've never actually seen you use that. Don't you think it's sort of a waste? I don't know about the voice acting, man. Wear, tear, and rust. And that's a real waste. And don't get me wrong, I'm fucking so happy that they're giving Crisis Core some attention. But I, I don't know, man. Like, I, I miss the original voice actor. The, the lines aren't getting across to me. I miss Rick Gomez or whatever his name was. He gave birth to the man we know as Genesis. Oh, there's that original Sephiroth voice, though. Project Genesis. Or no, is that? No, that's the new voice actor for him, too. Zach the puppy. <laughs> what do you know? Shit, dogs. Okay, the graphics are not terrible, but they're not amazing either. And I, I don't know about the voice acting. Okay, Zach's chain slash limit break. It's all here. That's so cool. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it. Hello. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna play it. Heaven? Not quite. Gareth. It's a church. By the way, what is your dream? Lazard? To become Lazard looks first? pretty good. Is it? No. To become a hero. Yeah. Oh, good. Unattainable dreams are the best kind. I, I, uh, I don't know about this voice acting. And whatever happens, protect your honor. Graphics here are the exact same. Cool. One of the greatest scenes in the compilation. Final Fantasy VII Reunion, Crisis Core Reunion, PS5, PS4, Switch. It's so it's a remake. That's sick. It's on everything. Yo, what was everyone saying? Let's go, Reunion. Fucking fire. They're remaking Crisis Core. No fucking way. I can't believe it, dude. I never thought this shit would happen. That set in stone. Wait, what did he say? What is this? But the future, even if it has been written, can be changed. So focus on the future, not the past. 
Oh to my god! He wants to reclaim. Oh my god, it's part two! And rule over the planet. <laughs> no fucking way! <laughs> Nibelheim! <laughs> I saw you lying there. I figured Let's go! Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? Holy fuck. Mount Nebel looks good. You were here with me five years ago. Where are you? What happened to you? I'm trying so hard to find you. Sorry. Feel like I failed you. Oh my god, what's it called? Rebirth! <laughs> it has a title! Dude! Best birthday ever, dude, I swear! Next winter? Bro, you. That better mean. Final Fantasy VII. Oh my god! Let's just kill the hype! <laughs> そして、リメイクプロジェクトの発表時から複数作にわたって展開することをお伝えしておりましたが、ファイナルファンタジー。3 <笑> お付き合いいただければと思います。お前が。25周年もそれ以降も皆様にお楽しみいただけるようチーム一度。Oh yes, <笑> Best fucking 10 minutes of this entire fucking year. I swear to God. Best 10 minutes of any birthday I've ever had. Ever. Fucking ever. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Fire. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, that was sick. It was a great video, by the way. But yeah, put a like on it. Dude. Oh my god, dude. We gotta watch that shit again. There were some parts in there that were crazy that relate to all the weird wacky shit, all the weird new wacky shit the remake is doing with timelines. Because, yeah, for those of you who don't know, um, 7 Remake, and it's kind of going into spoilers a little bit, right? But there are uh, things that it kind of changes from the original in a very meta, like, fourth wall breaking kind of way. Like, okay, this is going to be big spoilers. So just mute the next five seconds if you don't want to know. But in the remake, they kill Fate, essentially. And Fate is trying to keep the characters from doing the exact same things as the original game. And they kill Fate, and then they go on to their journey into the unknown, kind of like the end of the original, into where they go into the open world. And they allude to that a little bit in this trailer, right? Because it shows the stuff from the original game when Cloud's recounting his passed with Sephiroth and they're going up Mount Nebel, right? About the incident that happened five years ago. But then you hear Zack and like, it sounds like Zack's talking to Aerith and they've reunited even though Zack's dead. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> this is crazy. You're watching this shit again. We're watching this. Yo, you know what? We missed a little bit in the middle. What, what was what was our boy Katase seeing in the middle? Because I was having that fuckiness with the subtitles. Oh, okay, so it's on Steam Deck too. That's cool. All my Steam Deck brothers out there get to play the game. I don't have a Steam Deck, but yo, if anyone out there who watches this VOD later, you guys have a Steam Deck? Chief, you got a Steam Deck and you haven't played the game? <laughs> Definitely check out the game. Okay, yeah, so what was this shit again? Available for pre-order. Yo, what the fuck? Yo, okay. Yo, yo, yo. I need this shit. I need that. Yo, I have a little table right there. I have a little table, tiny thing next to my bed. <laughs> Dude, I need that shit. I need this in my life. It's an alarm clock. Or no, just a regular clock. But still, <laughs> that's sick. Oh, cool. New uh, Play Arts Kai figures. Probably not getting those, but... Okay, a new Cloud figure. The bike one definitely beats them, though. That's the greatest figure ever made by them. 
Oh, it's actual drip you can wear. That's cool. I thought they were showing some in-game stuff earlier. New accessories and shit that you can wear. Bangles and stuff. Cool, cool. Okay, I do want to... I want to look a little bit more... Okay, this, this shit was interesting here. L let's go through the highlights, right? See, this shit is really interesting. Why are they showing, like, a short-haired Sephiroth? What is this about? Or, oh my god, unless that's fucking... What's his name? Kadaj. This guy? The, the movie that's a sequel to FF7? There are, like, three remnants of Sephiroth that have to merge together to bring him back? Unlikely. But fucking interesting. What is the significance of this? What did Katase mean by this? <laughs> but okay, let me... Dude, okay. I love... So I love that they're doing a Crisis Core remake. Don't get me wrong. Crisis Core is absolutely everything to me. It's the reason I love FF7 so much. Right? I played this game first, technically. Then I went into 7. My boy, Zack. Right? One of the greatest video game characters ever. But dude, they kind of did him a little bit dirty here. I, I don't... See, I don't want to sound like I'm railing too much on the graphics here because I'm just happy this exists and the graphics aren't horrible, but like, I don't know, like when you compare this to the original Crisis Core, it's like Zach from the original. Graphics are definitely very dated here, but they're good for the time, right? That's the main thing. I feel like the graphics are very good for the time. But when I look at this, I'm like, yeah, they're technically better, but I like, I, I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion or a hot take, but I like the look of this Zach. Better than the look of this, Zach. I don't know. It's, it might be a hot take. I don't know what people think, but... Yeah, I don't know. He kind of looks uncanny here a little bit. It's still so cool, right? I'm not going into hashtag not my Zach territory here. I still think it's dope that they're doing it. I'm going to play the hell out of it. Some faces look pretty good, like in certain areas. I think it's also the lighting. Like, see, here it's kind of, like, rough. This stuff be kind of rough. Soldier, first class, Genesis. A month Everything has like a very plasticky feel for it, uh, feel to it. I love the nostalgic looks too. Honestly, yeah, same, exactly. Like the visuals in Crisis Core, they're definitely super dated and super old. But if you played this at the time, you'd be fine, right? But now that we have this, that's supposed to be a remake, or I guess it's a remaster, right? Okay, I, I probably shouldn't use the word remake here. It's a remaster, that's what it is. Uh, Original Crisis Core? I don't know. <laughs> like, in, in current gen, and for PS5 and stuff, it's it's kind of, like, not incredible looking, but I'll take it. You know what? At the end of the day, I'm so happy it's happening, and I'll take it. It's sort of a waste. And the, the voice acting, I'm not... Uh, that's the thing I have more gripes with, honestly, than the graphics. Uh, I think the voice acting... Don't you think it's sort of a waste? It sounds like Zack, like, I mean, Zack in the original, too, was this goofy dude, right? He was very carefree, but here it sounds like he's carefree, but is, like, kind of a dick. <laughs> he just has that tone in his voice. And rust, and that's, a real waste. that's a real waste. Everyone sounds like they're making fun of themselves. I guess that's the best way to put it. They all sound like they're parodying themselves. So I don't know if I'm sold on the voice acting, but again, I'm gonna have to play it, right? Just These are just first impressions alone. Sephiroth is okay, right? Sephiroth, they, they, I think they brought new voice actors for everyone, and the voice actors for Zack and Sephiroth are clearly the ones from Remake. And Sephiroth's voice actor, I have no problems with. A lot of people are like, yeah, his voice acting's weird, it's not great. Honestly, the, the original Sephiroth's voice actor, I forget his name, did such a fucking legendary performance that is hard to beat. So I was not expecting any new Sephiroth to really hold a candle to it. But this new Sephiroth is completely acceptable, and he's fine. Settle down. Genesis, I don't care. One of the worst characters ever in FF7. So, he can go suck an ass. I don't care about Genesis' voice too much. Dude's always been a weirdo. But okay, the combat, man. This is what I want to know. So, oh shit, it's back. Okay, it's it's back. I wasn't a huge fan of this system, so I don't know how well you remember Crisis Core, but the combat system was kind of goofy, right? It was fun. It was super fucking fun, but it was goofy because of the spinning wheel mechanic, right? It was like this lottery system where you got to get the faces to match up, like right here. And when they match up, Zack has a chance to like level up or cast this limit break special ability. 
Behemoth looks sick. The summons look cool. Hello. Yeah, I think it's the lighting in some parts too. Aerith looks fine. Aerith looks great, in my opinion. I think Aerith looks the best out of all the characters. And Zack doesn't look too bad here either. I think it's just the lighting, honestly. Right? The character models are they're they're serviceable, they're fine. I think it's under certain lighting, like when they're in the Shinra building, they all look super plasticky. I don't know how to describe it. I gotta remember it's still a work in progress. I'm sure it'll be more fine. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Right. This is just again completely just first impressions alone, what I think. From the trailer, right? My first reactions. But yeah, I I I do agree. We shouldn't be so quick to judge the whole thing. I think there's definitely gonna be some refinements done. And it'll look a lot better in the final release. Now, what's really interesting is they seem to have kept the CG cutscenes completely the same and unchanged. Like this scene here of Zack about to go for his last stand against the troops is the complete is, is completely the same as the original Crisis Core. They didn't actually. What's interesting is they didn't use the remakes cutscene because they remade this cutscene in the remake. Um, but they use the original Crisis Core version, which makes sense. That's cool. I think the visuals of the original uh, CG cutscenes from Crisis Core have aged really well. Okay, but dude, now for the main the main attraction. All right, I'm gonna watch this again. That's set in stone. The past is forever. Okay, what we've done, we've set in stone. The past is forever. So I'm just gonna do an analysis of this as best as I can because I'm really into this shit. And I really want to know what's going on here after the super wacky ending of Remake where they kill fate and change everything and Aerith seems to be aware of it all and how she knows that the original FF7 has already happened in a different timeline. So I'm going to watch this with that knowledge in mind. So she is, again, talking, talking very cryptically about how she's aware Set in stone. of shit that's forever. happened. But the future, even if it has been written, can be changed. Okay, the future, even if it has been written, can be changed. That's, of course, because they killed Fate at the end of Remake. So focus on the future, not the past. Okay. So, yeah. So, right away, they are giving us the idea that the entirety of Part 2, which we kind of already saw coming, is going to be largely the same. The beats will be similar. The characters are going to go to the same places. They're going to do the same shit. But it's all going to be about changing monumental events that happened in the original game yeah see what will become the planet that's a whole that's that's like the whole appeal of part two is you, you guys thought you knew what was going to happen you you 90s kids out there you, you guys thought you knew what was going to happen you don't know shit you guys are in the exact same boat as the newbies who are playing this game for the very first time you guys are all in the same boat you guys don't know shit which i think is really cool so what will become of the planet, right? And nobody knows. Wants to finish what he's okay. Dude, this looks sick. <laughs> this looks sick. <laughs> it looks... Dude, I even even when I imagined what Mount Nebel would look like in part two, it, it was still no way near being this expansive. Like, just look at the scale of it all, right? And so this part seems... I know exactly what this is, right? Anyone who's played the original and remembers will know exactly what this is. This is something happening within a flashback, right? So this is when Cloud... So right after the remake part one ends, or the first part of the original ends, the party leaves Midgar, the city, and they go into this little tavern in this town named Calm, and everyone asks Cloud, like, yo, Cloud, like, what's your beef with Sephiroth? Like, what happened five years ago that is making us want to hunt him down? Like, what, how, what, what is up with him? Why is he so evil? What the fuck happened? tell us everything. And then he recounts the events of what happened in Nibelheim five years ago, and this is what this is. There's Sephiroth, holy shit. I really hope we get to play as him. Uh, that would be insanely cool, like if he's a guest character. Because in the original, right, what happens, let me actually pull it up. Yo, this is actually really fun. I'm, I'm enjoying doing this analysis. So yeah, this is, this is when you go to the tavern and everyone's like, yo, Cloud, tell us about what you're history was with Sephiroth and he starts recounting that shit and like it starts with them in the back of the truck I don't remember Sephiroth's mouth being open like that and fucking creepy and gaping and stuff but we're gonna ignore it and they're going to Nibelheim to stop this monster that's been terrorizing the town 
because of a broken reactor. And then they get out of the truck because a monster attacks them. And you actually get to play... You don't play as Sephiroth, but he's a guest in your party. This, this I think, is happening after that. So the monster fight, I feel the game is going to open with that. That would be a fucking banger opening. If Like, imagine part two opens. And this is not an original thought, by the way, but I really fucking love this idea. It's by this dude right here. He's fucking brilliant, Maximilian dude. But this dude's theory, right, is that... Part two, and I fucking love this, it's going to begin at the back of the truck, right? We don't even see, we don't even see the characters here, right? It's going to open, like, there's going to be a rainy day, there's going to be a truck driving, and it'll be at the back of the truck, and you're like, oh shit, it's starting in the flashback, and it's going right into, like, Cloud and Sephiroth's past, and you'll hear, like, Cloud narrating the events in the tavern. And then the game opens up with the battle. I don't know if Max Dude said this part, but this is what I think is going to happen that would be sick. It opens up with the battle against this dragon, right? And the dragon is basically the tutorial for the game. It teaches you, like, the mechanics. It teaches you all that shit. And it allows you to be OP in the tutorial. Like, you know how OPs, or, I'm sorry, tutorials? They allow you to be OP as fuck, right? So, so you can, like, have an easy time and, like, learn the mechanics and all that kind of shit while you play. I think the best possible way to do that, right, would be to get you to play as Sephiroth and literally feel his power and the kind of shit that you will be able to do as you, like, play the game and get towards the end and stuff. Like, feel what OP feels like. And the dragon is, like, the tutorial. That would be fucking fire. But, anywho, I think I went on a massive tangent here. This shit with Cloud and Sephiroth is happening all the way. So they fight the dragon. They go back to Nibelheim. This shit right here, where they are going up the mountain to investigate the reactor. Yeah, like, all this shit is what this is. I think that's when that part of the trailer is taking place. This is gonna be so fucking fire, like, going up the mountain with Cloud Sephiroth and Young Tifa and Materia stuff. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. So that's what this is. You're at the base of the mountain here. He wants to so let's see what they're saying next. He wants to reclaim his birthright and rule over the planet with Genova at his side. Yep, exactly, we know that. And rule over the planet. Oh, is that the... No, that's not the bridge. What is his endgame? I saw you lying there. I figured it was too late. Okay, saw who lying there. Is he talking about Zack? This is a part which gets wacky. Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, okay, now that's Tifa's voice. I get it now. now. As I was watching this in the moment, I was I didn't process what they were saying. I was so blown away. This is cool. So Cloud in this trailer is narrating the events, like in the original. So, so far, it's exactly the same as the original game. Cloud is narrating and the tavern was happening there. And at this part, I saw you lying there. I saw you lying there. I figured it was too late. So this shit that he's talking about is when he went up to the reactor after Sephiroth went crazy and started killing all the townspeople and stuff, and he saw Tifa lying there because Sephiroth attacked her while going up, and she gets wrecked. Goodbye! And Cloud's like, oh fuck, Tifa, no, I, you're dead, fuck, there's no saving you. What is fact and what is fiction? Okay. You were here with me five years ago. Okay, 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 okay. So now we're getting into the fucky stuff. The stuff that's super weird. You were here with me five years ago. Who? Okay, who's saying that? I gotta listen more closely. Is that Zach? You were here with me five years ago. I think... I don't know if that's Cloud or if that's Zach. You were here with me five years ago. What? What could that mean? Was that like... Cloud, it can't be that far into, into part two. Part two is not going to cover Cloud regaining his memories, is it? I don't, I think it stops before that. Like, because that, it sounds like Cloud is realizing that Zack was actually with him and he wasn't Zack, right? What is, okay. You were here with me five years ago. Yeah, that's definitely Cloud's voice. Okay, what happens next? Where are you? What happened to you? Where are you? What happened to you? This is... And this is after Zack lives in the alternate timeline. Where are you? This is in the alternate timeline where Zack lives, presumably, and doesn't die. Uh, they're showing this and Cloud is going, where are you? What happened to you? You were here with me five years ago. Is this Cloud meeting Zack? 
Is this the two timelines linking? Because now there's an alternate timeline where he lived, by the way. If you weren't already confused enough, now prepare to get more confused. So apparently, there's another timeline where Zack lived because they killed Fate in the in Remake Part 1. So Fate wasn't able to make the soldiers kill Zack uh, as, it should, as it was at the end of Crisis Core in the original FF7 timeline. So now he's alive in another timeline, and they have been teasing that. Which is why he's shown carrying Cloud here. He survives the attack. And they're going back to what Midgar. To I'm trying so hard to Yeah, I'm gonna have to play that part. I cannot there's gonna be a lot of debate and analysis around it. I do not know what that's about. I'm just gonna have to play the game. Or there's gonna be some insane theory crafter. I don't know if it's meant to be obvious what that exchange is. If we're supposed to know what it means in the context of the original, or if it's brand new stuff because of all this new timeline shit. But to me, it immediately sounds like, just on the surface, if you've played the original and you're not at all thinking about the timeline stuff... You were here with me five years ago. Where are you? What happened to you? Where are you? What happened to you? You were here with me five years ago. On the surface, this shit sounds like Cloud regaining his memories with the help of Tifa and remembering that Zack was a person and that Zack was with him five years ago in Nibelheim. And is wondering what the hell happened. I'm so hard to find you. Sorry. That's Aerith. Feel like I failed you. This is the most fucking interesting thing. To you. I'm trying so hard to find you. Sorry. Feel like I failed you. I think I get it. I I, I think I get it. This last part, now that I've I've seen it again, I think I get it. Maybe. <laughs> Basically, right, this entire, these four lines of dialogue starting from You were here with me. You were here with me five years ago. What happened to you? And then Aerith goes Sorry. I've been looking for you. I'm trying so, I'm trying so hard to find you. Sorry. And Zach's like, sorry, I feel like I failed you. What's happening is they've seen Zach. Okay, they've seen him. They haven't met him. Like, they can, they are now somehow in, in Rebirth, in Remake Part 2, they are going to be aware of another timeline where Zack's alive. They're going to be able to see that timeline, but not interact with it. But Or they're going to be able to talk to Zack, but not physically converge the timelines. And Cloud is going to go... And this is before Cloud's memories come back and he still has amnesia and he's still crazy and shit. He's going to go, black, spiky-haired dude, I remember you. Right? I, I remember you. Who the fuck are you? You were with me five years ago. Why can't I remember you? And then Aerith is going to go, fuck, it's Zack. Because Zack and Aerith are in love. Aerith knows who Zack is, right? She's going to go, holy shit, it's Zack. You're there, my love. Let's meet up again. And then Zack's like, sorry, I feel like I failed you because he's not able to meet with her again or reunite with her, you know? I think that's what this is. But I don't know. This is this has been fucking fun analyzing this shit. That this is really fun. Reap. <laughs> what an amazing fucking title too, right? Like, can we talk about how I never even thought of this title, Rebirth. FF7 Rebirth. I remember when everyone thought this was gonna be called the First Soldier, right? Because they announced the title First Soldier before they announced that First Soldier was gonna be a battle royale game, but that didn't turn out to be this. And that would have been a cool title too, Final Fantasy VII, The First Soldier, because The First Soldier is Sephiroth, right? He's The First Soldier. But Rebirth is sick. Like, I feel like all the titles now, even Part 3, is going to have something starting with RE, like re-something, regroup, reunion. So cool. Greatest fucking birthday gift of all time. No debate, no context, no, no contest. You guys who have birthdays out there don't have shit on me. Oh wait, everyone has birthdays. I'm stupid. <laughs> but anywho, this was really, really cool.